here from Yoda Scale, and we help um, companies like yours deal with uh, cloud cost management. And given the two of biggest trends that are going on right now, which is ML, ML ops, costs going up there, I think you talked about generative AI uh, in your comments, and the macroeconomic climate that we find ourselves in, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on where is cost in all of your priorities? I mean, you are super women, all of you, because you're dealing with this you know, function that is evolving. You have so many different stakeholders, so many different priorities. I'm just curious, where is cost? I, will, I can start and then I'll pass the, the mic over. I think it's, it's important. Um, but here's the other thing. Um, we don't know what the impact of all of this generative AI is going to be. It's cool, it looks cool, but uh, proof is in the pudding. Like each, you know, each company has to adopt it, tailor it to what makes sense for them, and then build a product ar around it, and then hopefully commercialize it or be able to make I mean, all of, all of the for profit companies need to make money. Let me get it right. Um, so I think there needs to be space to enable that innovation. Um, but you want to be judicious about it, right? Large models, whether you're building this on the cloud uh, or whether you do it in-house, the, the compute itself is expensive. And, and so I think it's, it is going to be something to, for us to keep in mind, at least from our vantage point of view, the way we're doing. We're part of Microsoft, so we get to try some of the open AI, early preview, you know, without having going full, you know, the full mile, we can try something out, see if we can find a quick product market fit. So that's kind of the approach we're doing, is try where you can, where you absolutely can't, because we can't ship our data out, it's got a lot of customer member data, we have to do our own uh, in-house large models, which means we will have to staff up, up you know, the compute. So it's a mix, is what I'd say. But it is top of mind because it's not cheap. For us, it's always on the mind. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, if we are not keeping an eye on costs and constantly tracking and constantly optimizing, it can bleed to a level like that, you may end up spending so much amount of money in that, that can really cause a damage to the budget. So platform engineering, one of the main important, um, what can I say, like value is always think about cost optimization. Every pillar need to think about cost optimization. Uh, we go as far as to track it for every quarter, what are the cost optimization that we did in each pillar. And if there is any kind of like leakage that has happened, how we can prevent it going forward. So that's where cost stands for us, like forefront. Yeah, plus plus one on that. Um, our platform engineering team is considered to be like it's not revenue generating; it's actually sucking up money to actually <laughs> develop and build the platform. So all the more very, very judicious about uh, what we run, how we run, and it's it's top of mind, especially like I can give you an example of compute cost. We're actively looking at Graviton instances or AMD instances, right, from an EC2 level and seeing how that can make a difference and what use cases we can use to, to, to bring down the cost and what percentage of cost is being saved. Um, our observability, we use vendor solutions for, for the scale that we have, and every metric we are looking to see how, um, how it can be improved. Are there redundant metrics? Are there source tags or you know, uh, other information that's landing up in, in, that can be reduced? Because we get, we get charged for any, all of those. And um, everything at Intuit in our platform engineering org uh, gets an asset ID whether it's a service, a cluster, a namespace, and everything in between. So all of these assets are being, it's, it's, there is a common uh, CMDB that holds all of these assets. These assets need to be cleaned up. Mm -hmm. You cannot, unless um, you have to constantly go and say, hey, don't archive, like, of course, it's, it's not like too frequent, but reasonably enough. You can't just spin up a test environment and then leave it. There's going to be some, automated job that comes and archives it and you have to manually go and 
uh, if you don't do anything about it in a few, in a couple of weeks or so, it's going to actually delete it. So you have to know that all of these platform resources are are expensive, and 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 you have to be conscious as a developer, and of course as a platform engineering team, we are constantly on top of it with dashboards and. Um, nag email saying, hey, you know, hey, take care of, of this. Because the asset ID helps us understand who is the top consumer offender of a particular resource and there are, there's enough automation around it to, take, to, take, to keep that in control. What about the class? Yes, of course, cost is on top of mind for all of us. Um, we get, so some, one of the things that we do is, uh, one of the processes that we have is a weekly ops report that every product and every team gets. Cost is part of that report. And we're looking at, we are constantly monitoring on a weekly basis to see if costs are going high. Uh, we have costs for compute, costs for logging, all of this, so it's definitely on top of mind. And uh, there's a lot of thought that goes into optimizing it. 